Hey everyone, so today I have a review video for you and I'm reviewing Urban Decay's Vice 3 palette and I actually just got this as a Christmas gift and I'm pretty excited because it has lots of cool colors in here. So first of all, it comes in this really nice carrying case and basically the deal with the Vice palettes and what makes them so special is that they have 20 never before seen eyeshadows. So yeah, it comes in a box, has all the shades on the back, and one of the nice things, I just love the packaging on this, like I just, the, the jeweled vise looks really pretty and I really like the coloring on this. It's a nice sturdy case and it has a magnet close on it, and then when you open it up, it has a really nice sized mirror in here. And then of course it comes with a makeup brush, so it's a double-ended makeup brush with more of like a blending edge and more of like a um, sh uh, paddle brush end. Well, on the insides you can see little hints of the lime green which I think is a really nice touch. But I also like how the basic backboard of this is, um, I'm going to try to cover this up. I like how the basic backing of this is black so you don't get like an odd reflection or anything. Um, and this has a nice decent sh like range of matte shades. I believe it has one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that has like six or seven different matte shades to it. It has a nice variety of nude colors. But the main thing that I like is the actual colorful colors on here because um, I feel like in the past, Urban Decay's palettes were mostly nude colors and you would get like one or two like actual colors. So I really enjoy just the different range of colors that are in here. You have blues, greens, burgundy colors, pink colors. So it's just like a nice variety of pretty much anything that you could want in eyeshadows. Um, the only criticism that I do have, which is typical of Urban Decay, is that they like there is just a ton of fallout like you can barely I've used a couple of the colors um, I actually use this palette for the makeup look that I'm wearing now and I filmed a video on it so I'm not sure which is going to go up but like once I have the tutorial up I'll link it down below um, but like you barely dip your brush into these colors and it kind of just gets everywhere so that's the only downside and that seems to be pretty typical with Urban Decay is um, eyeshadows but pretty much all these colors are pretty pigmented. I'm pretty impressed with the color payoff with these. So yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and go through and give you guys a closer look of each of the colors and describe it for you. The first color in this palette is Truth, which is a nice pale pink nude matte color. Next is Undone, which is a pinky beige matte satin with a subtle pearl sheen to it. Downfall is a warm light brown matte shade. With DTF, it is a taupe matte, again with a subtle pearl sheen to it. Dragon is a bright metallic green shimmer color. Freeze is a metallic medium blue with a multi dimensional micro glitter in it. Heroin is a deep navy blue with subtle pearl sheen. Broke Down is a metallic golden brown shimmer with a gold micro glitter. Vanity is a smoky metallic eggplant purple with a multi dimensional micro glitter. Lucky is a metallic bronze shade. Rain is a rich brown satin. Bobby Dazzle is a metallic white with a pale gold micro glitter. Alien is a pink peach with a golden shift to it. Alchemy is a deep fuchsia satin. Bondage is a deep smoky burgundy shimmer. Sonic is a metallic red copper color. Last Sin is a champagne shimmer with a silver micro glitter. Angel is a light taupe with a silver micro glitter. Defy is a smoky taupe satin. And lastly, Revolver is a soft black satin with a subtle iridescent pearl sheen. Okay, so that wraps it up for this palette. I believe it retails on Sephora site and Urban Decay site for $60. So basically, if you break that down, you're paying $3.33 just about for every eyeshadow, which is a good deal, which is one of the main things that I say when people 
you know, a lot of people just say how expensive these palettes are, but I think if you break it down that way, like you're getting 20 eyeshadows for $3.33 each, just about, and they're really good quality. Like the quality is definitely there, um, and it's really hard to go to the drugstore and find eyeshadows for that cheap that has that great a payoff. So that is one way that I pretty much tell people it's worth it is by doing the math and breaking it down and seeing how good of a deal you're getting because normally their eyeshadows I believe are $18 and they're not much larger than what's in this palette so kind of do the math and figure out if it's worth it for you so I hope you found this review helpful and I will see you in the next video don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe so you can be notified when I post anything new and I'll see you next time. Bye!